All right, guys, and welcome to another log of the Digimon Color Version One. And for today's log, we have Adramon, or actually, the correct pronunciation is Eadramon. Ea, like not Adramon. Eadramon. All right. Anyway, its etymology. Um, the spelling is A I R. So air. I think it's in the reference that it's flying in the air. So it's like an air dragon, like flying dragon. I guess fly dramon doesn't sound very cool, so they decided to call it a air 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 dramon, a dramon. Yeah, but basically it's the opposite of C dramon. Um, uh, C C dramon is the other counterpart for Betamon's evolution. So it's a sea dragon. This is an air dragon. Um, in fact, this is something interesting that I find that is available thematically connected between the versions especially version 1 and 2 so um, I'll mention that later in our version 2 logs as well but and and, uh, and often because uh, this is a pairing thing that's connected between version 1 and 2 so version 1 you have a dramon and C dramon sorry a dramon and C dramon which is an air dragon and a sea dragon in version 2, Electmon's evolution, which are those that shoot needles, also has a flying Digimon and a sea swimming type Digimon. So that thematic connection is something that I always find very fascinating. And there are other Digimon pairings that have this thematic connection as well. But anyway, a little too much into this thematic connection thing, let's look at Yedramon's profile. So Yebedramon, according to the Digimon.net, is mythical beast with its um, special move called Spinning Needle. So it's a mythical beast Digimon with gigantic wings. Yedramon is an extremely valuable monster and is thought to be close to a god. Um, it specializes in mid-air combat, invoking storms with its howls, and creating massive tornadoes by flapping its wings. It has a brutal nature with a high intelligence to match. So this is interesting. It's the opposite of Seedramon, the sea dragon, where Seedramon's um, profile mentions that Seedramon hardly has any intelligence. Now, Eadramon here is of high intelligence. So even so, it is nearly impossible for the average tamer to control it. It uses its special move spinning needle to generate a hue a sharp vacuum blade from the trashing of its humongous wings so interesting fact about <coughs> uh, being close to a god uh, <coughs> this 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 god complex thing actually I think the more accurate um, translation seems to be that it has a bit of a god complex so um, if you look at if you look at the appearance when it appears in Ghost Game, uh, it has a very interesting uh, feature of Yedramon appearing in several episodes and every time he appears, he seems to have this superiority complex or god complex actually that he thinks that the other people should worship him, right? So very cool. I like that when he appeared in Ghost Game, they stayed true to the profile um, that has been written. So I really like Eadramon's design and I think it's cool that, that, that the note and all its description uh, gives colour to the Digimon. Now let's take a closer look at the coloured sprites, shall we? Alright, let's take a closer look at Eadramon, Eadramon's profile. And honestly, I think I've said this a lot and I'm just going to say it again. Colour here really makes the sprite a lot better. So I know I've said this many many times but just check this out. So honestly if you take a look at the original sprite for Eadramon, when it's black and white it was really hard to tell how Eadramon is supposed to be and if you look at the artwork you can sort of guess and imagine with your mind on how it's supposed to look but with the coloured sprites it really helps a lot. You can really see the the, the, the white skull design that it has, the orange wings, the blue, light blue dragon body with the 
dark blue underbelly of the dragon like it really pops and you can even see the red tinge in its eyes so i really think this is really good like color was really the way to go and of course they didn't have the technology then but it's so great that we have it now so thank you bandai for making this i didn't know i needed this and now we have this so that was Eadramon eating a piece of meat let's catch the next part of the animation that we want to capture we have the idol screen of it moving around the screen looking good let's see the training animation so it's angry and of course he will be happy <clears throat> let's get straight to the result because we know it's gonna be a good one there we go he's happy good job yeah Dramon is happy all right and now we don't need the battle animation because we have happy and angry animation really and he doesn't really need to battle because sadly yeah Dramon is not gonna evolve um yeah i gotta just gotta quickly skip to the next one if possible but we do want to see him saying no so time to switch to evening evening just to see him set against the sunset looking good he will have tons of battles later just to sorry in a way to induce its reincarnation by getting injured multiple times it's a little sinister but that's how you gotta do if you really wanna quickly move on to the next one and gotta push him to the reincarnation stage and yes, he has a tatami, so this is how he sleeps. This is him sleeping. And his tatami color is yellow. So with this, I think we have concrete evidence that the tatami color has nothing at all to do with attribute. It is just pure aesthetics purpose in terms of his color choice. And so this adds to the tatami counter. Um, so the tatami counter currently stands at eight. We have 8 Digimon with the Tatami count. We have Agumon, Greymon, Tyranomon, Yeadramon, um, <laughs> Yeadramon. Um, yeah, I'll just consolidate the count later. But yeah, this is it. And that is our log. I think this is the 15 log of the Digimon Color version 1. <laughs> you can see that shadow over there. That's my wife just trying to interrupt our log but yes this is my 15 log of the digimon color version 1 if you like what you watch don't forget to hit like and subscribe with spinning needle thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye <laughs> bye